The Temporal Synergy Method, Phase 2. Hi, this is Mark from Iceland, back again today to talk to you about the second phase on your journey to a healthy and lean physique. Remember last time I gave you the Smart Carb Kickstarter technique to literally get you started with a bang on burning fat. Short recap on that. 1. Temporarily replace all carbs with Smart Carbs. Smart Carbs are cruciferous vegetables and legumes, which are beans and lentils. Examples for cruciferous vegetables are broccoli, cauliflower, brussels sprouts and cabbage, the more common ones, legumes, kidney beans, butter beans, lima beans, green lentils, brown lentils, etc. As a reminder, we have identified three different classes of carbohydrates. One is the smart carbs, two is the clean carbs and three would be the bad carbs. Clean carbs are other good foods like fruit, whole grains and all other vegetables outside of cruciferous vegetables. And the bad carbs are all that yummy stuff, sugar, candy, soda, cookies and uh, cakes and pizza and all that, all other highly processed carbohydrates. Now today I want to take you to the next level, the next step, phase two of the TS method. You'll simply maintain phase one, so keep on going with those cruciferous and legumes for a while. I mean, hey, they're good for you. And you're probably used to them by now, and you might even have started to figure out what a great tasting food they really are. So we keep up phase one. Don't you worry, by the way, you will get to reintroduce all clean carbs, that's the fruit and the whole grain, plus other vegetables, right soon. You'll even get to eat some of the bad carbs, the candy, ice cream and cake and all that, on the strategically placed carb day, something to be looking forward to. Today, for phase two, you will add one simple technique, it's quite a small thing really, and it will have a huge impact on your health and fat burning results. But first, let's talk about some real important stuff that you need to know. You've been kept in the dark, and I'm not even exaggerating one little bit. Not only that, you've been misled and misinformed most all your life. It's a fact, plain and true and straight up. I'm not being melodramatic at all, it really is like that. So what the blue are we talking about here? The problem with weight loss is actually quite simple as I've already pointed out in phase one. It's the lack of the correct knowledge. If you don't know what to do and how to do it, well then it's pr going to be pretty dang tough to do it, no? But not to worry, this is just what we'll be covering here. I'll give you the most powerful weapon in the fat burning war, applied knowledge. I'll help you understand exactly what it is you've been made to do wrong all your life so you can put a stop to that at grinding halt. Then we'll explore together exactly not just what but also exactly how to do it right. To live a healthy, a lean and a long good life. But straight into it, I will tell you this, you've been taught, conditioned even, to eat the wrong foods and way too much of them. This leads to three things. One, a habit, and a habit that is very powerful stuff, and it can be really hard to break, but it gets even worse. The stomach gets distended, it gets stretched, it gets bigger, so there's no way you'll feel full in time, you know. Uh, when you actually are, when you actually had enough, you don't feel half full, you're just not satisfied. And three, probably the most important one, the hormonal response to wrong eating. And this is a biggie. I'll go much deeper into much more detail on that in just a little bit. For now, let's just agree you got a lot of stuff working against you. You know when they say, oh, it's not your fault, well, here that's really the case. The food industry gives you food that makes you want more food. A bit like a drug, really. So here's the situation. You're used to habitually eating the wrong foods. I mean, you're totally used to them. They're a part of your life, something that you even actually grew up with. Now that is extremely powerful. But since you now at least know about it, you can also at last change it too. And I'll show you how, exactly how to do that in the most effective and quickest way possible. Eating like that, you know, the wrong way, leads to a lack of satiety, so you're never full, you're never satisfied with the food until you're like totally overeating, and uh, you, know, you only want more, you know. And these wrong foods lead to the wrong, the bad hormonal response that's directly tied in with what I just said, namely the insulin response. That's actually a real serious business right there, it's so serious that it can downright kill people, and it actually does. Again, I'm not exaggerating. This all makes up a somewhat deadly cycle that's hard to break if you don't know how. 
And as we've established already, most people just plain don't. What happens if you don't manage to break this cycle? Quite easy. You will slowly but surely get fatter and fatter and unhealthier and unhealthier as the years go by. Diabetes and an early death lie down that path. Some even say, oh well, that's just how it is. That's just a part of getting older. Well, I say to that, hog wash. Don't make me laugh. It doesn't have to be that way at all. Even more, normally, naturally and healthily, it is not that way. Now all we do is go back to that normal, natural and healthy way of eating and living. Sound good? Just follow me along. In the TS method we basically work a lot with what is called the hormonal response, HR for short. The HR can be good and it can be bad depending on which one and at what time. See the body is governed by hormones totally. That, that means you know the, the hormones run the body. They basically tell it what to do, how to do it and when. Now, if you, you can manipulate this hormonal response, that's what it's all about. And if you manipulate this HR, the hormonal response, in a positive way, you can get the most awesome results. And now here's the whammer. You have been manipulating your body's own HR all along, only in just the wrong way and without knowing it. Specifically, we're talking about the insulin response here or that blood sugar roller coaster. You might have heard that term before. This insulin response is the result of all those bad foods you grew up with and it has this effect. It gives you the munchies, it leads to binges and to low blood sugar levels, hypoglycemia. That can even be dangerous. The insulin response keeps up your appetite and makes you want more food even if you've just had a truckload, or specifically then. See what I mean by saying it really isn't your fault? This is not just a lie, no sir. First of all, you just plain didn't know. You didn't have any idea about this, right? Never heard of it. Secondly, now imagine this scenario here. Say Joe is given a drug, an addictive drug, but he isn't told about that. He's told, well, this is just normal food. They just say, here you go, Joe. Tastes great. Great stuff, huh? It's what everybody eats. And assume they do that from early childhood, so Joe actually grows up with this. Now fast forward a couple of years. Then Joe is in his 30s and he's feeling not so good, he's a little overweight and the health is going down the drain too. They say to him, Joe, you're weak, move your ass. They use the bad language, huh? They say, train more, eat less, and by the way, here's some more drugs for you. And Joe is hooked, and he doesn't even know it. He thinks it's him, you know, it's his fault, he doesn't have any will, no strength of will, no motivation, he's spineless, he gets frustrated, depressed even. He gives up. Sound familiar? This is not an exaggeration. This is the sad truth of it, period. And now, the good news. You can manipulate the HR, the hormonal response, both ways. We manipulate it back to normal, healthy levels. You already started, actually, with phase one of the TS method. So now here, without further ado, is phase two. Start on a soluble fiber supplement told you it was simple. Soluble fiber has awesome stuff. It's a great filler, so it really fills you up with low calorie costs. Remember, in the follow-up to phase one, I said when you get cravings, you just have some more crispers or legumes. That works really well, but you can't eat cauliflower all the time. So now, we're introducing soluble fiber. It's basically got zero net calories, that means usable calories that your body can actually burn, and it really stuffs you up. It will lower the overall insulin response to the foods that you do eat and it will detox, that means basically remove dangerous poisons from your body including plastics and estrogens. That's the stuff that makes you sick and fat. So now what is soluble fiber? The answer is it's a fiber supplement that's either high in or that's pure soluble fiber. Examples are citrus pectin, apple pectin, psyllium husk and glucomannan. You can get all of these in the health food store. Another one would be flax meal. That's, uh, you, you, that's simply a pulverized fresh organic flax seeds. You know, you put them in a coffee grinder, grind, grind them up, and uh, you know, sprinkle them over 
your food, it's determined to your food. You, you grind them uh, right before consumption, always fresh, that's pretty important. And why not use all of these uh, fiber types together? You know, you don't need to just use one type, you can use them all, all together or just uh, some of them. That's purely up to you, you know. Just uh, be creative if you want. Okay, now how do you use it? You take the fiber just, just simply throughout the day, either in capsule or powder form or both, between meals and right before every meal. The flax seeds, or the flax meal rather, are great sprinkled over or mixed into your food, like into a stew or into a soup or something like that, or sauce even. But a little bit careful, because whilst fiber is totally harmless and most excellent for your health, you want to up the fiber consumption slowly and increase your intake of fluids, so liquids, or especially water, accordingly, because otherwise constipation is a possible side effect. Other than that, soluble fiber will help to give a feeling of satiety, it will regulate digestion and help to detox your body from estrogens, plastics and heavy metals. It's great stuff. Some experts claim that our ancestors had up to 70 gram of fiber every day, as opposed to some like 15 gram every day today in the average modern western diet. And me, I believe this unseen, because after all, pretty much most of the natural foods that they had back then were, and still are, totally stuffed with fiber. So this is it. Maintain phase 1, all carbs are smart, and initiate phase 2, introduce soluble fiber into your diet. These two alone will do so much for your health and leanness, that it's just plain unbelievable. But you will believe your eyes, won't you? In that regard, these are but small glimpses of the most complete fat burning and health system on the planet, the TS method. You can take a closer look, no obligations, by clicking the link below. Can't wait for next week now, where we again raise the bar to another higher level to phase 3 of the TS method, your secret weapon for fat burning results. I'll see you in a bit. To your success, Mark. Now here's a little note, a little PS. By the way, you have no doubt noticed that all the techniques I've given you so far have nothing to do with training, you know, fat burning training. That's because fat burning first and foremost is in the nutrition, and the diet, and the foods that you eat or don't eat, etc., and what time, blah, blah, blah. So just so you know, we will cover the very most effective fat burning training on the planet just, just a little bit in the TS method. So then if you want, you can speed things up with that, but it's, it's not even really necessary. You can burn fat quite easily by simply adjusting your diet. That's purely up to you. Another PS, the TS workouts are recommended though, especially if you want to look nice and toned and muscular to boot, just like one of those top models. So to recap one more time, soluble fiber will help to give a feeling of satiety, so you feel nice and stuffed up and full and satisfied. It'll regulate digestion, that's where health starts, you know, good and ill health both. And it will help to detox your body from estrogens, plastics and heavy metals, etc, etc. That's a great stuff. And your assignment was to maintain phase 1, all carbs are smart, and to initiate phase 2, introducing soluble fiber into your diet. That's it, and I'll see you in a bit.